Hey everybody, Jessica here. My pronouns are she, her. And today's class is going to be a restorative um, slash yin style of yoga class. So um, restorative just kind of means we'll be holding postures where your body is completely supported. So you're not putting a whole lot of effort in. Um, and we hold them a little bit longer and that's kind of the yin part of it. We hold the poses for a long time and that really gives um, the body and the tissues time to kind of uh, break down, release tension and start to repair themselves. So for this class, we will need a prop, ideally a bolster. If you do not have a bolster, I think most of us don't have bolsters at home. You can use a sturdy pillow, a meditation cushion. If you've got some blocks, you can stack your blocks together and kind of wrap a blanket around them for comfort. Um, we're going to be um, basically resting our body weight on the bolster. Um, so anything that you can sit on and you feel um, you're not going to completely crush, it'll give you a little support, will be perfect. Um, we can work with what we have. Uh, just get creative. So grab your prop and I will see you on the mat in just a moment. Hi everybody, so for today's class, we are going to start in a supported bridge pose. Um, so the support I'm using is gonna be the bolster and I'm just gonna kind of sit on the bolster and start to lay uh, my torso down on the mat. So finding a seat here and then just gently lowering all the way down so that the shoulders and the head are resting comfortably on the ground here. So soles of the feet are down. You can take the feet wide and allow for the knees to fall in together, or you can just kind of hold them up, whatever feels best for you. Bringing the arms out, palms up or palms down. And we're gonna take a few minutes here. So just start to sink into the prop and allow the body to melt down into the ground here. Maybe rocking the head from side to side, just kind of using the weight of the head to gently massage the back of the skull. Allowing the head to be heavy as you rock from side to side. Just pushing out any tension. Not really any muscles in the scalp itself, but there's definitely plenty of fascia, which is that webbing that kind of binds your skin to the bones and to the muscles and ligaments and so forth. And that can get bound up and knotted up just like your muscles. So if you're feeling any tight sensations as you move through this on your head, it's, it's not in your head. <laughs> It's very well maybe there in the fascia. So just every few moments checking in with the body, giving yourself permission and space to release and to relax and, and understanding the body is always just trying to protect us. So even though we create this loving intention to give our body space to relax it, well, sometimes pick that tension right back up. So just being aware of that and letting it go as soon as you realize it's crept back in. Mm. Come into the sensations of the face itself. And allow the skin on the face to really just fall back, to relax. Soften the sockets of the eyes. Allow the lips to part open if they want to naturally. Relax the tips of the fingers, the heels, the calves. Just every, let everything melt down like honey, nice and slow and fluid. And 
and start to draw your awareness to the breath. And follow each inhale as it enters your body. Down past the throat into the belly. And with the exhale, let go, let gravity do the work for you. Let the breath fall. Arise from your body naturally. And although this motion of breathing is it's sim simple and, you know, it happens automatically without your intention, without your pushing, even though it is simple in that way, it is miraculous. And just notice the way it's feeding your body, fueling your body, easing the rhythm of your heartbeat. Moving life force throughout your entire being. Feeling your body sink a little deeper into the earth. Allowing the shoulders to roll back. to wiggle the fingertips here and wiggle the toes, finding a little bit of movement in the body again. And from here, we're going to slowly blink open the eyes if your eyes were closed. And we're gonna start to lift our feet up off of the mat. So bringing the knees kind of closer to your face, almost like a reverse tabletop position. And staying on your prop, we're gonna find a happy baby here. So option to find a half version, so just pulling one leg up, or you can find the full version here. You kind of be the judge of where you wanna go, especially with the way your props are situated and supporting you. It might be more comfortable or sensible to find one leg at a time, wherever you are. Explore this posture here and instead of pulling down super super hard on the feet Just kind of let gravity do its thing, right? Just hold the feet And we don't need to offer any force here Just kind of see what happens and if there's some little movements here that work for you go ahead and find them And if you're only grabbing one side, let's switch sides here And another option is to not even grab the legs, just to kind of keep the feet up. And maybe you grab for, um, instead of the feet, maybe you just grab for the shins or the ankles. And this is fine too. Your practice, your choice. Whatever feels good is right today. We'll take about another minute or so here. So if you're taking one side at a time, maybe switch again here. Breathing into wherever you feel that sensation building into the inner thighs or the groin area, maybe the outside of the hips. Stay consistent with that nice deep breath. Nice and as slow as you can make it.
And then when you are ready, we'll start to draw our knees in together here. And then slowly start to find our feet back down onto the ground. Take your time. Yes, there we are. So from here, we are going to stay um, supine with this pillow or bolster underneath us. And we're going to come into um, a reclined twist. So if you are familiar with class, um, with my classes, you've probably done this posture before. Um, but we're switching it up this time because we're on a bolster. And I think what the bolster offers to the pose is it helps you to get a little bit deeper into this posture. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, so from here, let's just walk the heels a little bit closer to our body. And we're going to lift the hips up and we're just going to slide this bolster um, a little more to the left side so that my hip is at the very edge of this pillow. So lifting up. sliding the bolster over and then I'm going to draw the knees up and then drop them over to the right side so you might have to play with the positioning I think I scooted my bolster over a little too far so finding what works for you and we want the hip to kind of be situated on that bolster the hip is going to be a little bit higher than the knees There we go. So we're dropping the knees to one side. Hip is situated on this bolster here. Shoulders are plugged into the ground. And even if you feel like you're sliding off your pillow or your bolster, as long as you have a little rise underneath that hip, you're gonna get into the side body all along the left side. You should feel the pulling from the hip here, all the way up the side until you get to the armpit. So that's what we're looking for. And really just relax here, melt into this posture. You can bring your gaze over to whatever feels best. And as you relax, you should feel the tension starting to build on the outside of that left hip or the top hip. And again, sending your breath to that area, just send your breath. And instead of kind of getting lost in whatever your brain is telling you about how you're feeling in this posture, just kind of notice and observe the way your body releases the tension and how quickly your body adapts to this change or this posture, how quickly your body adapts to all that we ask of it. think of the bolster or the prop that we're using here is almost like a wedge just gently lifting the hips up a little bit to add a little more um, to add a little more stretchiness to this posture breaths here. Breathing into the lower back. And 
take the top leg and gently start to come back to center. Yes, and then we're gonna take it, uh, just take a few breaths here to kind of adjust to coming back to center, noticing how the left side of the body feels after that pulling, sitting in that supported stretch here. And then we're gonna prepare to take this on the other side. So depending on the size of whatever you're using as a prop, for me, I have a couple of inches on the opposite side. So I'm gonna lift my hips up and slide that bolster out of the way a little bit. And I'm gonna bring the knees up and drop them over nice and slowly to the left side. Letting the knees fall over and if you feel like you have a gap between the knees or the thighs that's really uncomfortable, you can use a pillow or a block or something to fill that space. And take your time kind of playing with the positioning of the legs, especially if you're really tight in the low back and even in the hips. This might feel like really strange and intense at first, but I promise you, as long as you're supported and you allow the breath to move through you, it'll start to open up and feel really good. So again, checking in with the body, noticing where you're holding yourself tightly. And adjusting if you need to. Relaxing the shoulders and the arms down. And relaxing that top knee down as well. Remembering to keep that breath fluid and deep. And we'll just take a couple more breaths here before we move on. And last breath. start to slowly come back to center moving that top leg back to the middle moving nice and slow and we'll just sit here for a moment kind of adjusting to the sensation the opening and then we'll gently start to come up from here so if you have um, a large bolster like I do you can just uh, press into the feet and lift the hips up and slide it out of the way here And we're gonna come back to the prop. So slide the feet away from each other and gently find an upright seated position on top of your, your prop. So we're coming into a very common uh, restorative posture called shoelace. And if you have abundance um, throughout your thighs and the middle of your body and or if you have tight hips this is going to be um, feel really difficult and sometimes inaccessible but i feel if you come onto 
um, a seat, an elevated seat, it creates some extra space and makes it a little easier for you. So we're gonna try for that today. So starting by sitting up on your bolster, pulling your legs out in front of you. Um, we'll start with the left leg. So just like you were gonna find a cross-legged seat, bring this uh, leg, this foot underneath um, the space uh, of the right leg between the foot and the thigh. So knee is kind of pointed forward or somewhere towards that direction. And so traditionally we would stack the knees on top of each other and both feet would be on the ground and you would sit nice and tall. Um, it's really difficult. <laughs> so we're gonna try for that same idea. So pick up this opposite leg and place the foot down on the other side. And if the ground feels really far away from this foot, use a block, use a blanket, use something to elevate that foot and get the posture to fit your body versus your body fitting the posture. So we're gonna look something like this. As you can see, my knees are not stacked perfectly on top of each other, but we're close and I'm getting the benefit of the stretch. I can definitely feel it throughout that right hip. So you wanna find something like this that you can sit up in, that you can maintain for a few moments with comfort, without uh, any pinching or pain. So find a way that this works for you. And you can grab on to whatever is there for you, the ankles, the feet. You can hold this top knee. And we'll sit up tall here. And we'll just take a few breaths, a few moments, a little bit more than a few breaths. We'll take about a minute here. And I want you to kind of understand or start to recognize that difference between pain and sensation, effort. So pain is anything that's causing you to hold your breath, um, anything that's causing you to like wince your face, hold weird expressions. Um, and sensation can do that too, but pain is where you really can't control it, the way um, your body's reacting. And sensation is something you can breathe through, right? It's uncomfortable sometimes, it's different. Uh, but we can maintain our breath, we can get through it. Sometimes our brain tells us we can't, but we certainly can. So if you are feeling any sharpness, any pain, please move out of this and come to an easy pose, just a cross-legged seat. Um, and that's a great hip opener as well, a very gentle, light one. But if you are feeling some discomfort, let's send our breath to wherever we're feeling. Let's pinpoint the different spots in the body and send a little loving, intentional breath to that area. And notice the way the body starts to respond quickly once you start to nourish your body with your thoughts and with your breath versus feeding into whatever whatever things that your monkey mind is telling you to get you out of the situation tuck that chin crown of the head is pointed straight up Take one more breath here. <sighs> Very good. Let's start to find our way out of this and we'll take this on the opposite side. So gently unfold that top leg, bring the hands behind you maybe, and then we'll unfold the other. And shake it out a little bit nice and gently, get some of the blood moving again, and then we get right into it on the other side. So right leg slides underneath the left this time. And we're going to place the left leg over, just like we did on the other side. And find your stillness here, trying to sit up nice and tall.
feel free to always adjust yourself in any posture as things change, as we hold these asanas and breathe. Sometimes you realize you've gone too far or sometimes space opens up and there's no shame in adjusting your body. Even when the instructor cues stillness, this is your practice and your body and your choice. Relax those shoulders down. Find a nice long spine if you've lost any of that. Relax the thighs, relax the feet. Last breath here. Very good. Open the eyes and gently unfold that top leg nice and slow. Extend the legs forward. Shake it out a little bit. And then let's come into a supine butterfly or seated butterfly rather. Bringing the soles of the feet together, staying situated on your bolster and we'll drop the hands out palms up and maybe don't be afraid to adjust the body for comfort here and drawing the shoulder blades down the spine chest comes forward chin slightly tucked And allow gravity to pull those knees down a little bit with each exhale. Maybe they don't actually move. Maybe you just visualize that they're moving and we're getting more opening in the hip, in the pelvic area. Soften the gaze or close the eyes. Allowing the mind to float around freely and choosing to be the witness in the body and in the mind right now. Your power is in which, which thoughts you animate, you breathe life into, you choose to engage during our practice, during our breath work, during our meditation. We want to observe how our mind is working versus jumping on every thought bubble that pops in our mind. I just want to kind of notice and very uh, occasionally something really interesting, um, introspective will come through the mind and those are the thoughts that we want to engage with during this time, during our practice together. The thoughts that take us on the journey inward, deeper into understanding ourselves and our motives and remembering that at our center we are love so anything that reminds you of that or takes you into that space and it might not happen all the time but occasionally it will we get these little drops of insight or curiosity and that's what this practice is all about connecting us to our true identity, our true self, remembering who we really are. So from here, I encourage you to find a Shavasana if you'd like, or you can stay 
in this posture and continue with your meditation. Um, and I do thank you for trusting me and inviting me into your home to lead you through this practice today. I'll see you next time.